So I'm gonna go over today my bug out bag, shit hits the fan, any any situation. This is emergency situation bag. Uh, it's a Los Angeles place gear. I think they make great stuff. Very sturdy bag, a huge bag. Check them out. This this is the uh, 72 72 hour backpack and it, I love it it fits that bowl and all this easily at weighing just 26 pounds first thing over here on the right is a bowl I broke one of the well I broke two of the arrows I try to carry three and everything uh, fire starter gear you got a lighter of course uh, I think it's called a striker anyways uh, matches it's not all my fire gear I keep in my first aid kit magnify glass I think that's a must-have um, so I got a radio not too particular about radios uh, flashlights on the other hand very particular I come and find a lot of solar flashlights don't even work hybrid light very good brand charges with very little Sun lasts forever I don't know all the specs but uh, the yellow one is brighter than the black one but I went ahead and got both uh, this one I have in the front pocket and I have this one a little deeper in so I'm all about having backup flushable wipes you can always figure out what that's for you know I got a little toilet paper roll to go with it Leatherman it's a Leatherman multi-tool super 300 I love it um, this is a brand new one I haven't even used it uh, it's sealed in it goes in my bag until I really need it uh, water so I just carry two of these in my bag water is very heavy so i try to not carry too much water but i do need something if i can't find so that's to get me by until i do find water so life straw life straw life straw has been around for a while um this is a slim jim i don't know if you use this or a lot or not but slim jims i think are very handy um EMP something happens where uh, you know every vehicle is dead on the road you know I'd rather spend my night inside of a, somebody's car than in a tent truthfully so that is an option I got I got a sleeping bag I order uh, I use it once in a while so yeah so it's not exactly in my bag like uh, you can't remember everything so I find this one to be a very good one ACW tactical USA very useful you can find it on eBay I do know that maybe Amazon and then this has this reference book has a lot of information and useful knowledge uh, knowledge is power I truly believe that so this is a tart also got another tarp here with tent stakes. They're just cheap tent, tent stakes living in Florida. We don't have to beat nothing in, really. Um, this is a Glock 17 uh, conversion to uh, 22. I do carry a 17. And this is my everyday magazine clip. Um, this is a 10 round. I carry a six round on me. It's for a Glock 43 slingshot. You never know when you need slingshot. 22 rounds, 22, 22 long rifle rounds, nine millimeter. Uh, uh, this has 120 in it. I had 300 in this one at one time, but I've been using some of them. I also keep some in my car too. Um, so that's the tarp. These are socks. Socks are very valuable, I think. 
you know, walking situations, your feet get sore and stuff, carry four socks. Each one is individually uh, sealed. So that way none of them get wet. And I don't, you know, I might open the pack and then have to go through water, wave through water. So I think individually having each one sealed is a good idea. Buckle, repair, backpack kit, you know, stuff like that. That is very valuable. Sewing kit, it's just got scissors, needles, thread, buttons. It's very valuable. So right here I got fishing. It's got string and stuff like that. Give me a moment. Open this. So it opens up. This is by K Bar. And it opens up. I got matches. I got um, fishing gear. Everything in here to do a little bit of fishing. Hand warmers. Uh, hand sanitizer. Sanitize wipes. Yeah. And these, they're just so cheap. Or a dollar a piece. Um, it just won't hurt to have them. N95 mask. This is a, a ration bar. Something for some kind of food. And I got a beef stew. I keep one of these uh, just in case. And I got this. If you add these it's from an MRE, you add water to this. And you add water to this. And you seal them both up and put them in the same thing and heat this water up so it's a way to eat without giving yourself away I think it's very useful you know not in every situation I would use that but it's there you know I can always get rid of stuff I can't wish I have you know if something happens uh, let me go to the first aid so, I, li I like having a thermostat. It's a thermostat whistle. It's cheap. Uh, compass, I wouldn't really trust it. I'm pretty good about with the stars and the sun. So, I shouldn't need that. Uh, bug repellent. We live in Florida. And bug repellent is a must-have. So, I got two of those in mine. Um... This is a staple kit. I would suggest get these while you still can. Because who knows, they might take them off the market where you have to have a prescription. Or just where you can't have them. But um, it has sealed in. Never open. Uh, very handy. So this is my little first aid kit. Um, it's kind of like a Walmart do it. Uh, I got staples or I got stitches in here uh, it's pretty much everything that comes in the Walmart kit plus add to a little bit super glue I think it's a must-have zip it's too small for really staples I th this super glue from my experience uh, don't hold me reliable is the best one for like gluing your skin back together cuts and stuff like that I've glued one that was about three inch deep and probably about four inches wide and this holds um, I can tell you that um, lighters I keep a couple lighters in here this is like um, if I really gotta go minimalist at least I got this bag and fire starter uh, magnify glass I think is a very must have it's lighter everything uses use resources but when you use this you don't use no other resource but the Sun so that's a must have I got band-aids all the other stupid stuff you know um, thermal blanket you know stupid stuff like that usual first aid kit and stuff um, this is a bite stinger kit. I've used these before 
and they actually do work so um, get you one they're at Walmart you can probably get them on Amazon but uh, it's really good for bites and stuff I don't it says for snakes too but I've never used it for a snake bite and let's see so here we got a shovel because you know it could just be stuck it could just be stuck somewhere or essentially you know maybe I need a hole to have, have work the concealed fire or you know a fire uh, hole or something like that you can always do this or just need to bury something this is very useful this is a very small one too so um, it's like the military style and then right here you got this pan and so I got these they're towels and it's got a little cup it's just a cheap one I got at Walmart honestly um, this I could hang it up in a flyer and put that on I do have wire that goes with this it might still be in the bag it must not look hard enough but I uh, keep a thing of wire too so if I gotta pull this off the fire I have a way to do it easily um, it's just a little small freight uh, roll of wire I think it's useful so silverware that kind of goes with that it's a fork spoon set uh, aluminum foil I think aluminum foil is very valuable I uh, kill maybe a squirrel a rabbit you know I could wrap this up cook it very easily you know wrap it up in aluminum foil cook it and have something to eat uh, this is just to get really all the supplies is just to get me to my main supplies or get me by to one of the to a better situation so prepping's not all all about end of the world and stuff like that sometimes it's just you know we go on a trip went to a trip to ohio recently and i took my bag and everything if we broke down i have enough supplies for laundry to carry laundry detergent go go pound go bun powder that's good for walking shaver you know you never know what's going to happen could be wanted you know threat uh terrorists or something like that uh, i don't know you know whatever the situation is i need to get out dodge uh sunscreen toothpaste um toothbrushes these are foldable toothbrushes um you know we broke down and the only set of clothes i got on me or us is you know the clothes we got on us you go a laundry mat and just use this you know maybe i won't have cash on me or maybe it's sound you know i got some way to do it and of all this gear you know for instance if I got a flat tire maybe the only thing I would want to take home you know if I was going for depending on the amount of walk and stuff like that but if I got a short walk I could just go without any of this but if I got like a 20 mile wall I might you know I don't feel like it's a threatened situation I might just leave the bow in the car you know, some of the stuff I could leave behind. Shovel, the cooking gear, maybe take the aluminum foil, the food, first aid, you know, stuff like that. Maybe even leave the fish and stuff. But shit hits the fan. Who knows, I might need all of it. I can always get it, but if I got it, I can have it. Um, I'm not the best person at talking, so let me just do say that. Um, subscribe. I'm going to try to put out more videos and stuff like that. This is just something I've always done. And I didn't realize it was popular.